Hi there. So I just got back from a six day long bike trip on the Coromandel Peninsula. That's this section right here. Let me tell you, I learned some things. So welcome to the top tips for biking across the Coromandel Peninsula. Number one, if you take the Hauraki Rail Trail, which you should because it's awesome, make sure that you have a very bright headlight and tail light because there is a kilometer long railroad tunnel that you bike through. And if you do not have a bright headlight, which I did not, you will totally lose your bearings and almost crash, which I may or may not have done. Number two, be prepared for wind. Lots and lots of wind. Number three, prepare yourself to encounter lots of wildlife, mainly, mainly livestock. Highlights of the trip so far, Let's see, lots and lots of cows. <laughs> Did I say cows? Number four, when you're on the Hauraki Rail Trail, um, stop into the Waikino Tavern. It was um, lively in the off season. Number five, as you're biking along, you might get tired and that's okay. Just take a break and maybe go for a hike. There are hikes on all sides of you, especially when you're in the Karanga Hockey Valley. I hope I said that right. There's not always bike racks to lock your bike up, but don't worry. Just lock it to a gigantic New Zealand bush tree, which are very convenient. Although this might not be endorsed by the Department of Conservation. Number six, do not use your camera phone to record video while biking over a railroad bridge. Unless you are a very seasoned professional, like me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number seven. Oh, I've already forgot what it was. There will be hills. There will be many, many hills. But the climb is always worth it. And the views are just spectacular. And finally, number eight, go to Cathedral Cove. Via Highway 25, the grades were never unbearably steep and there's a pretty comfortable shoulder the entire time as you ride. Plus, the panoramas are insane. Insane. I took, I took a lot of panoramas. So there you have it. My trip to the Coromandel was amazing and if you ever come to New Zealand or plan to bike New Zealand, you gotta go there. Next up, I'm going north. You'll be hearing from me soon with more adventures to come. Oh yeah, nailed it.